I've never lived alone, and I'm finally at a place where I got enough money that I don't need a roommate anymore. Matthew LeBlanc, who is best known as an actor and comedian who gained international fame portraying Joey Tribbiani in the critically acclaimed sitcom Friends. Matthew has been able to snag some pretty luxurious real estate in Los Angeles. In 2007, soon after divorcing Melissa McKnight, Matt spent $7.4 million in a house in the Pacific Palisades, neighborhood of LA. He moved out of the home in 2012 and rented it for $13,000 per month, according to real estate listings. He tried to sell the house in 2016 for $10 million and ultimately found a buyer in 2017 who paid a a little less than 7.4 million. He owns two side-by-side -side homes in Encino, California and a thousand acre ranch in Santa Ynez, California that he bought in 2002. We'll take a look at Matthew LeBlanc's former homes and his most recent listings, his 3,900 square foot home that features a renovated cook's kitchen and an enchanting backyard that comes complete with hot tub and breathtaking views of Santa Monica Canyon. Looks like Joey Tribbiani is doing pretty well. How you doing? Hey, hey, we were just saying, great apartment, man. Thanks, you want it? Huh? In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. Matthew LeBlanc has made a pretty lucrative career in show business, garnering a net worth of $80 million. However, it wasn't always big paydays for the actor. In the 1980s, LeBlanc appeared in a series of television commercials for such nationally known products as Heinz and Coca-Cola. He also appeared in various music videos for artists such as Bon Jovi, Alanis Morissette, Tom Petty and the Heartbreakers and Bob Sager. His big break didn't come until he auditioned for the role of goofy, big-hearted ladies man, Joey Tribbiani on Friends, a role he began playing in 1994 and went on to play for 10 seasons. Okay, buddy boy, here it is. You hide my clothes, I'm wearing everything you own. Oh my god! This role propelled him to superstardom along with his co-stars and LeBlanc quickly became a household name. He also starred in the spin-off TV series Joey from 2004 to 2006, but it didn't go so well and Matt eventually went on a five-year hiatus from acting following the cancellation of Joey. For the first season of Friends, each cast member earned $22,500 per episode. That works out to $540,000 for the first season, which still seems like pretty good cake. However, for seasons 9 and 10, each cast member earned $1 million per episode. That works out to $24 million for seasons 9 and $18 million for season 10. If you total it all up, each cast member of Friends earned around $90 million in base salary alone from the show, before back-end bonuses and ongoing royalties. What's even more impressive is part of their 2000 contract negotiations, the cast was able to demand back-end points on the show, which allowed them to earn royalties off the show's sale into syndication. Up to that point, the only other TV stars who had ownership stakes in shows were Jerry Seinfeld and Bill Cosby. Friends continues to generate north of a billion per year in syndication royalties and streaming deals. It has been reported that each cast member in some years can earn 10 to 20 million in royalties alone. It's safe to say that none of the cast members will ever have to worry about money again. And this, of course, is probably the reason Matt LeBlanc has been able to snag such great real estate over the years. Hey, what's going on, guys? This is Marlon Palmer bringing you another house tour here for you on Famous Entertainment. 95% of you guys right now are watching and you're not hitting the subscribe button. I need that to change. Hit that subscribe button because we post new videos daily. Now we've previously reported on the homes of Tiger Woods and Justin Timberlake. So check those out on our channel if you'd like. And if you like these videos, please ring that bell for notifications. Hit me up on Instagram so we can chat some more at that do McFly. And write in the comments down below whose house tour you'd like to see next. Let's get into the video. Like during the afternoon, I had to be flipping channels. I was watching the news, and for some reason, they had like a split screen on the TV. They have cast of friends' houses, and I was like, okay. I remember looking close at my house and thinking, I need a new roof. <laughs> Matthew LeBlanc owned a pair of homes in Hidden Hills, California, and this one in particular is a stunning villa that featured over 11,000 square feet of land and boasted seven bedrooms and nine and a half bathrooms. Matthew made the purchase in late 2005 for nine million and low key, this extravagant, securely gated dig was a basher pad as this was just before he moved out of the house he shared with his now ex-wife, Melissa McKnight. The features were outstanding as the more than 11,000 square foot property and sprawling across two lots came with a motor court and six car garage because we know how much Matthew loved his whips. For those lucky enough to visit, he could grab a bite in the gourmet kitchen decked out with stainless steel appliances, marble countertops, and a kitchen island perfectly centered in the room. The home featured its own office where Matthew probably negotiated a contract or two, a spacious study room, and a library for those that fancy a read. Matthew knows how to work hard and play hard as the abode came complete with a games room, theater, 
perfect for binging nine seasons of Friends and a basketball court to shoot some hoops. In addition to the rolling lines of breathtaking views, guests were able to relax in style with Matthew's wet bar. He for sure could have hosted a little Friends reunion. Not to mention the little home came complete with all the goodies, including programmable lights, security system, Christian audio system, state-of-the-art surround, and Pebble Tech pool. Now, as glamorous as that house was in Hidden Hills, Matthew's upgrade in the 1930s Spanish Villa Pacific Palisades located on half an acre lot was truly a thing of beauty. As stated earlier back in 2007, Matthew divorced longtime girlfriend Melissa McKnight, and Matt had spent $7.4 million for this 3,900 square foot villa in the ritzy neighborhood of LA. Initially, he moved out of the home in 2012 and rented it for a whopping $13,000 per month, according to real estate listings. Matthew tried to sell the house in 2016 for 10 million, and ultimately found a buyer in 2017 who paid a little less than 7.4 million. Matt spent on the house 10 years earlier. So Matthew had to take the loss on this one. The sights were dazzling as the mansion's manicured lawn runs for half an acre along the Amafi Rim, one of the most coveted locations between the Santa Monica Bay and mountains. This home was nestled in a steep cliff with lush views of Santa Monica Canyon. The estate offers the utmost privacy and peacefulness. The home was outfitted with stucco walls and red tile roof in classic 1930s Spanish fashion, while the interior is complete with ironwork and tile work. In fact, the house boasts beamed ceilings, wood floors, original fixtures, ironwork, and tiles throughout the four bedroom and three bathroom house. In addition, the home featured a step down living living room with fireplace, panel dining room, and cozy library den. The home is decked out in all the modern appliances and features a combination of elegant paintings and modern antiques. Numerous built-ins highlight the home's finer features, while the cook's kitchen sports an updated face thanks to a recent remodel. And let me tell you, this kitchen is not messing around. On the first floor, the recently renovated cook's kitchen opens to an adjacent family room with yet another decorative fireplace. The sunlit breakfast area comes with an abundance of oversized windows that give the room an airy and roomy ambiance. The dining room and cozy den both feature touches of a rustic decor, dark wood paneling, hardwood floors, and beam ceilings. The two full and three partial bathrooms are each decked out in tile, vintage sinks, and amenities. The back of the house opens to a desirably flat backyard that features half an acre property and comes complete with rolling lawns and a manicured garden. Oddly enough, the house does not have a swimming pool, but makes a deep sweep out to the edge of a steep cliff, allows for breathtaking views over Santa Monica Canyon. All right, so I think we'll bring this house tour to an end here. We got to take a quick look at Matthew LeBlanc's home and that massive house in Pacific Palisades with remodeled kitchen. After seeing that fancy house he snagged, what did you guys think? Was it everything you would expect out of LeBlanc? Personally, I thought his first house was a better spot to party. You know me, I'm always looking for the party. Huge fan of that bachelor pad. Out of LeBlanc's features, which ones were your fave? You guys can go ahead and rate them in the comments down below. Follow me on Instagram at that McFly and let us know in the comments section whose house tour you wanna see next. I'll see you guys next time.